and let's uh, let's take a look at some of the Spartan blades, uh, fixed blades here at the Shot Show, and gonna let Curtis uh, walk us through it. Sure. Well, well, thank you. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is a new collaboration we did with William Harsey out of Crestwell, Oregon. Uh, you know, if you're a knife person, you know Bill. He's the he's the genius logger out of Crestwell, Oregon, who uh, we've been working with for years. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, our Nesmuk. Okay, now this is part of our silver line of knives. They're made for us, or in collaboration with us, with our parent company at K Bar. So they're manufactured only in New York. They're Harzi designs. Uh, we use 1095 Crovan steel. And, you know, that you folks out there who love that steel and love your K Bar knives know what 1095 Crovan is. It's a high carbon steel with a, a lot more chromium in there to allow prevents rusting. Good point. So this is a design done by Bill Harzi. This has been in the works for quite some time. Um, there's going to be three models of these Harzi knives, a Nesmuk, a Fighter, and next year a Kukri. So um, we, we love this design. It's got a high grind line all the way off the top, a sharp edge for ferrule rods. Um, you know, the Nesmuk was made you know, famous by you know, the Explorer and Adventurer Sears back, back in the early uh, history of our nation. Uh, he's a 107 pound man who uh, had tiny canoes and made canoeing famous, but he also had a drawing of an Nesmuk that he thought was the ultimate outdoor knife. And of course, we all know it's become very popular uh, as a classic American design through the years. So that's the Spartan Harzi Nesmuk. Um, the, what we really enjoy about this knife is the sheath as well. Every one of the new Harzi silver line knives has a, a custom built, injection molded, form fitted for that particular knife sheath. Um, but what we like about it, it clicks in, it has secondary retention, so it can't be pulled out until you actuate the button to release it. Um, it's a great tight fit, so you don't get a lot of rattle. And we also have straps on the back that you can use to secure the knife if you're backpacking, hunting, uh, if you're conducting airborne operations, just to make sure it's doubly secure. Okay. It's got an American-made uh, thousand denier Cordura uh, hanger on the back that can be removed. For you people that are left-handed, it can be re put on the other side so you can carry it. Uh, we jokingly say it's amphibious, but I think the word is actually ambidextrous. So, so that's the Spartan Harzi Nesmuk. Uh, the next one is the next knife in that series of our silver line of knives designed by Bill Harzi. And it's called the Spartan Harzi Fighter. Now, many people may recognize this as being kind of K-Bar-esque on the blade. That was on purpose. Um, but they'll also see the distinctive Bill Harzi contoured handle that they've seen on, on several of our models in the past. So a lot of people who have seen this are affectionately calling it the Pine Bar. So half Pineland Cutlery, our parent company, and half K-Bar. So uh, a lot of people have nicknamed it the, the Pine Bar. But it's just it's a sturdy, good combat utility knife. Um, you know, we're stationed near Fort Bragg. Or we're, our shop's near Fort Bragg, North Carolina. We get a lot of young soldiers that come in. And they know the names of our knives. They know our company and our personalities. But sometimes our knives are, are out of reach for them based on price point uh, in our gold line. So it, it was our wish and our hope to create a lower price point knife made out of good steel that's easy to sharpen, that's usable as a real combat utility knife. We think we kind of hit it on the head with this one. We're very, very excited. Again, this has an ejection molded sheath that's specifically designed for this model knife. So it's nice and quiet, hard. Yeah, it's, you can use it in airborne operations because it has a hard sheath and locks in just much like the Nest Mark. So those are our two no, new offerings from William Harsey as part of our silver line. The next thing I want to talk about is a collaboration we did with uh, a knife maker, Les George, who most folks are probably familiar with. Oh, yeah. uh, Les George is a former EOD Marine, but what he really is is a lover of American-made and combat daggers. He's a bit of a historian. He puts a lot of research, study, and, and he owns a hell of a collection of daggers. But uh, as a Marine, he wanted to do something that was related to the Marines. And many people may recognize the uh, outward markings of this as a Marine Raider dagger from World War II. So he reconstructed using modern materials and modern methods to create the exterior of the Marine Raider knife, but as a full tang knife. So as you can see, the steel goes all the way through the bank, and through the back, excuse me, and it is a full tang knife. This is part of our bronze line. So we have three distinct lines. We have our gold line knives that we make in our shop in North Carolina. 
are silver line knives made here in the U.S. by K-Bar and our bronze line knives that are made in Taiwan, not China, but in Taiwan. Um, we wanted to make a combat military dagger that a tr troops can carry and, and, again, afford. It's made out of high, high carbon steel, um, so it's easier to sharpen. They come pretty darn sharp, which is rare if you've ever held a World War II dagger. You know, I have some Sykes Fairbanes. I have an original OSS dagger, and you can literally rub it on your palm without cutting yourself. So this is a new addition for 2023. We're calling it, you know, uh, the Spartan George Raider dagger. And these are available now on our website uh, from our distributors or uh, an authorized Spartan Blades dealer. It has that that Sykes flair to it, doesn't and, it? And it does. And the original Raider dagger was actually based on the Sykes Fairbane yeah. dagger. So it's very Sykes Fairbane-esque. Um, and that's on purpose. It was based on that knife uh, in, back in the 40s. It's a beautiful design. Yeah. I, I've already had some British well. guys say, hey, call it what it is. It's a Sykes Fairbane. Yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of. You know, yeah, kind, it kind of. of it's, its ancestry goes back. And that. that's a good thing. But uh, it, it does have the mark, the, the same jimping. Well, we added some jimping because we thought it needed it. We squared the handle slightly because we thought it was important to be able to index it at night or during hours of limited visibility. Because it is made to be a real-world combat dagger. Um, but uh, definitely an homage to our, our, our Marine brethren there in the in Marsoc and, and you know, and historically the Raiders in the Marine Corps. So we're pretty happy yeah. with this one. And uh, well, that's what's new for 2023. Um, with that said, I think I've got one more thing, and I do. So um, we have a friend named Mikey Vellenkamp who owns V Knives on Washington State. And he's kind of known for making a neat, innovative designs. I think he's won the most innovative award at International Blade Show four or five times. Um, so uh, years ago, we used to make titanium breakdown chopsticks. And uh, they, they did very well. And uh, so we thought we'd do something similar. We're calling it the Carnivore Personal Dining Set. So it's about the size of an iPhone. You get a, you, you get a plastic case. When you open it up, you have a personal dining set on the inside. So you've got a VG10 steak knife, a three-pronged a three, uh, fork, and the handles are made out of G10. And they simply twist together like this. So it gives you a small fork, this small steak knife. It's incredibly sharp. It's very thin and has very high grind line. It's great for cutting steaks. We just uh, we had to go to uh, several steakhouses in Las Vegas to, to conduct <laughs> testing. We didn't want to do it, but of we course, had to. Of yeah, course, of course. It was so it just to it just that. gives you a great little dining set. You can keep it in a backpack, put it in your back pocket, throw it in a purse. You can take it camping. You know, if, you, if you've ever been to a picnic and use those cheap uh, plastic uh, white forks, oh God. you know, you cut your meat, you go to eat it, and you get, you get a piece of plastic in your mouth, that's not a problem anymore. Um, so that's uh, the Carnivore Personal Dining Set. Uh, What's up at the very top, the white? Is that a sharpener or Oh, what? yeah, sure. Here, let me explain I'm this. Sorry. Let me show that to you real quick. You know, a lot of times when you get a steak knife at a restaurant, they're dull, and there's a reason for that. People are scraping it on a plate. And, you know, most, you're using a ceramic, right? And that's why we yeah. use the sharpened knife. Yeah, yeah. And you're actually taking it, rubbing it on a plate and doling it. So this allows you to, to place this here. So it's got a built-in sharpener. Yeah, this protects your hand and allows you to sharp, sharpen your knife. And it gets pretty darn sharp. They come sharp as well. So that's yeah, just a way to tune your knife up. You know, it's like any knife, even a large combat fixed blade knife. The trick with having a sharp knife is to keep it sharp and hone it. If you destroy that, well, then you got to completely renew that edge, yeah. rehone it, and you lose a lot of the life of that knife doing that. So, and th so that's why we added that on there. A, that is uh, incredible. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was not even aware sure. of this little setup here. Yeah, so just the breakdown, you did drop right in there. Uh, it, you know, our, our plan was to try to keep it the size of an iPhone or smaller, and we did that um, to make it easy. You know, make it easy to carry. So that's the uh, Carnivore Personal Dining Set. That's part of our bronze line. So I think they'll retail for about $119, somewhere in there. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, that, yeah, that's what's new for 2023. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for uh, taking us through this uh, this line of fixed blades and this small dining set. It's no, way it's, cool. It's my pleasure. Yeah, it's, it's pretty popular. It's just, they're moving pretty quick, so... 
but all right and i wish you a good show well, i hope here. you've been having a life. good time here huh no we ha we have we, we enjoy coming here um you know the, we love doing this because we get to talk to our customers we get to we get to visit with our folks in our my family and community as you know it's a very tight knit community all those people out there that should be our our, our enemies or our competitors are actually our, our, some of our best friends so uh, the knife community in the United States, it's strong, it's friendly, folks work together, and I, I love it. I, I really do. It's I awesome. couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. We're lucky to be in this industry. I really appreciate your time today. My pleasure. Okay, thank you. All the best. Bye.